Joining us now from Kyiv, the former president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko. Mr. President, thanks for being with us this morning. Uh, you are there on the ground. You are in touch with the president. You know what these troop movements look like. Why has Ukraine, why has the military made such significant gains in the last few days? First of all, now I'm in Kyiv, but I'm just returned from the east, where Ukraine demonstrated the miracle, surprise, the world. And with that situation, I want to deliver you the last new figures. The, up to today, we may liberate more than 8,000 square kilometers. Up to today, we delivered from the beginning of September, only on the north, more than 400 towns and villages. Only today, on the south, we liberate 500 square kilometers. And since September on the south, we liberate 12 towns. And I think that's thought to be possible, first of all, because we have an absolutely efficient and great army in the world, the greatest soldiers in the world. And I'm proud that in the year 2014, me as the Supreme Commander in Chief start to create together with our partners new armed forces, which is based on the NATO standard and Russian troops fighting with us, despite of the fact that they have a more artillery, more ammunition, they based on their former Soviet system. Point number two, that start to be possible because of the assistance of our partners and allies. First of all, United States, United Kingdom and uh, NATO member states, which equipped us with the most modern weapons. Especially, I want to thank you for the HIMARS, which is super accurate, long range, and Russia simply don't know what to do with these weapons because their anti-missiles technology is not working. And the fact we need more. For the additional attack, for the additional offensive operation, as uh, Commander-in-Chief of Ukrainian Armed Forces Zaluzhny and his uh, uh, General uh, Zabrotsky said that we need additional 20 brigades. We have a volunteers, we have a soldiers, we have a motivated people, but we definitely need the weapons. And this um, counterattack just demonstrate that the victory of Ukraine is definitely possible. Mr. President, the pace uh, of the assault on the Russians uh, by the Ukrainian army is beyond impressive. But my question to you is, given the distance you've traveled and as quickly as you've traveled, that there is there an issue of the supply line, chain, the supply re resupply chain? You don't want to be out, I would assume, out too far in front without gasoline or supplies and get caught like that. What is the plan? First of all, I want to tell you that this is the biggest group of the uh, Ukrainian soldiers and artillery we collect since the beginning of the, since the 24th of February. We have a very well calcul calculated operation, uh, thanks to General Zaluzhny, thanks to General Sirsky. And with that situation, I don't disclose you information, but we prepare to supply um, the all necessary things, especially uh, not only the oil and gas, but uh, definitely we need an mm -hmm. ammunition. And with that situation, now I can tell you that we are fighting on the north of our country, just 15 kilometers to the Ukrainian-Russian border. And uh, our brigade is now fighting already, not in Kharkiv, but in Lugansk region. And we definitely understand that this is extremely important to keep our eye on the supply chain. And uh, we uh, definitely, we have an eight years of experience. This is the new army. And this is the very highly motivated soldiers, volunteers. And you will see, you already saw how the uh, people who was liberated from the occupation welcoming Ukrainian soldiers in every single house. The Ukrainian soldiers. Looks like we have uh, his his feed is frozen, uh, but obviously Willie, um, great progress. 
that's being made right now by the Ukrainian troops. You know, the question I wanted to ask him, and it's a question really that you, well, I, I understand we have him back here. So instead of telling you the question that I will ask the president, I'll ask the president himself. Mr. President, just go over here. I'm curious, uh, what, uh, with, with, with the success that you've had over the past uh, week, remarkable success, it leads to the question, um, define victory. What does it look like? Uh, how does Ukraine move forward uh, with Russia as its neighbor? First of all, victory for us is to liberate every piece of Ukrainian soil. That is possible because in the year 2014, uh, me as the Supreme Commander-in-Chief liberate two-thirds of the occupied Donbass, including Mariupol, Lysychansk, Severodonetsk, Slavyansk, Kramatorsk, all the uh, now where we have a very severe fight. We, I'm absolutely confident that when all Ukrainian land would be free, we would be ready to launch the special negotiation about the future security of the world. For the future security of the world, we need two things. First is to deputinize the world, Europe and Russia, and second, to grant to Ukraine membership in NATO. There is not any other structure who can guarantee security in Europe, but we would be absolutely ready to launch the negotiation what kind of security guarantee Russia needs just to uh, keep uh, stop the war and keep the peace. And the shorter, uh, how to make it shorter, the, our way to the peace is just to supply to Ukraine more weapons. Learning more weapons closer the peace, no doubt. The former president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko. Mr. President, thanks so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you again soon.